EB, you just said you're not one of the elites, but that's an elite amount of silver you've got behind you there. Um, well, let me just say, because I'm 100% certain that we're being monitored these days. And, and I know that because if, if you were to post a controversial comment in the section, you'd be immediately deplatformed. So someone is, it might be an AI bot, but someone is watching. So just because you see all this silver here, uh, any any representation that this might be mine is purely coincidental. Okay, so in, in the event that there's, that there's anyone keeping notes on this at the at one of the giant buildings in Washington. The, the, this, the, those are those are empty, fully strapped. This could be uh, <laughs> monster this, boxes, right? Purely for demonstration purposes. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 the monster boxes here I thought would be fun to to show. I think you want to keep the strap on. Yeah. Um, but they're empty because, inside, because right? There's no silver there's nothing in there. In there. Nice. There's nothing, nothing in there. there. Okay. So, but hypothetically. Um, hypothetically, if there were silver in here and you had the strap on, what collectors know is that there's probably a few MS-70 coins in there, you know, because mm. it's like a, it's like a, a numbers game, you know, th these are fairly old boxes. Um, and so, and so they know that in this year, okay, like a long time ago there, that they produced, you know, two or 3% of the coins or whatever were MS-70. And so wow. the, 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 the reason why you want to keep it strapped is because if you, open it then the 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 person that buys it from you i mean of course the silver is real but but the person that buys from you says well how do i know you didn't send the box to a grading company pull out the perfect coins and put in regular coins which is totally fair um so that you're going to get something closer to silver plus premium whereas if it's yeah. strapped then then there you know people know that this year they produced x percent so i don't know i always thought that's better but then you have bars i mean i i like the bars i mean these are you know nobody will steal these in my experience like if you this is a hundred ounce bar um uh, and so you know it's stamp johnson johnson matthew i don't think they're i don't know if they're in business anymore or are there ingle one of them has gone out of business this one's an Inglehart, but um nice. but okay you use them as a doorstop or yeah. um, if, if you paint yeah, them black or make them look like a rock, you can just leave them outside by your front step. Nobody, and them. nobody will touch them. Yeah. I mean, I mean, nobody wants this. Like I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, like this is the average American would try to peel the wrapper off and eat it. I mean, there's nothing, <laughs> they have no idea what this is. Um, Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Um, chocolate so, inside. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but guys, like, okay, so, you, I mean, you know my book is Why Gold, Why Now? I mean, so everybody thinks it's about gold. It's really not. I mean, the, the book is really about how I created a fortune in the royalty business and how you can you could do the same thing I did. I mean, I, it's not like, my, I mean, my father... Uh, is a furniture salesman. Okay. So, I mean, like it has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I've done for the last 22 years, other than, you know, he's very like a, uh, a fan, but, but my point is it wasn't like my dad was running a mining company and said, you should start a royalty company. Like Brett Heath and I figured this business out on our own. So, so while I like, I mean, of course it's nice to have metals. Okay. Like let's say this is like 1800 to plus ounce equivalent of the empty boxes of silver, like hypothetically speaking, plus bars. Okay, so so this is um, two, you know, hypothetical 10 ounce gold bars. Okay. These are these are PAMP. They're stamped with PAMP, which by the way, the 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 lady on the front, Lady Fortuna, my friend was telling me that if you if you study Lady Fortuna, that all this cornucopia comes out of the pineal gland on Lady Fortuna. I think it's wow. fascinating story. I'll, I'll leave it to people to search online for that. But let's say you take two of these and a Mexican uh, 50 peso, which is a really cool gold coin because it's 37 and a half grams. So it's, it's more than, than an ounce. And sometimes you can, you can find them mispriced. This is about the same as all that silver. Okay. So, so, you know, you get to a point in your, in your, in your journey in life that, that while you still love silver, it's, it's not quite as practical because um, it becomes really difficult to maintain like the percentage levels that you want mm -hmm. in metals at a certain stage. Cause otherwise then you go to like a PSLV or something and it's, and it's like, 
it kind of defeats the purpose. You know, you're, you're, you know, it's not really the same thing that you were, that you were looking for. So my point is, is that, you know, uh, while I like silver, gold becomes a lot more practical, you know, o- mm-hmm. over time. And I think people should yeah. see that, like, there's no harm in buying one gold ounce. I mean, in my book, yeah. I, I talk about how much to own, like percentage. It's a lot lower than you think. I mean, I give a formula that shows you what it looks like if you had 3% of your money in metals. And I think it doesn't really matter what you have, you know, really how much silver, how much it doesn't, it's, it's just, you know, whatever you want. Right. I mean, like if you love silver and that's what you want, get silver, but, but you come to a point where gold takes up a lot less space. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them. And if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange. And one of the biggest are, for example, Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well-established exchanges. But, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy, but the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.